Oh, our voyage in Bramfontein was total baptism of fire. Um, it turns out that um, for a business to be successful, it has to do three trades, morning, lunch and dinner. We're doing well on lunch trade. And how we got to choose that site was because I was working. So the only time I could go check out what I thought was a cool site was during lunchtime. And during lunchtime, there was traffic. I never thought to go and check if the same applies in the morning and in the evening. By the time I signed the lease agreement and have shop fitted the thing, I only realized then. And then I also didn't realize that because the university closes four months of the year, even though the students were not necessarily our target audience, it had an overall impact on the, uh, on the environment in terms of just general usage and consumers around the place. And then of course, there was no dinner traffic. So whilst we're breaking even on a lunch trade, um, it wasn't enough to have a sustainable business. Having to close the restaurant was probably one of the hardest, hardest things I ever have to do. And I consulted widely because our lease was coming to an end. Uh, so I needed to decide whether to continue or to try and uh, continue. And as an entrepreneur, it's one of the hardest things because they always say, never give up, never quit, right? At the same time, you need to know when to quit. So I consulted widely and I asked a gentleman who was very successful, I've got this problem. And he basically said to me, I mustn't be emotional about these things. I need to know when to cut my losses and move on. And I said to him, well, that's easy for you to say, you're rich and successful. And he says, aha, how do you think I got that way? So I listened and whilst it was easy in theory, it was perhaps one of the hardest, hardest things I've had to do, because this was my baby. I put everything into this. It was my life and soul. And the day we shut down the doors, it was not the coolest moment. But it also taught me an important thing, is that when we do begin to franchise our businesses, I never want a franchisee to ever go through the feeling I went through. So we'll always make sure that we select the locations accordingly.